I'm sorry I'm late. I thought we'd be meeting in the department office. <laughs> oh, not in Georgia in the spring. <laughs> That'll teach you to get your PhD in New England. Oh. <laughs> Come join us. Everyone, this is Isabel Drake, our third remaining candidate for the instructor position. Isabel, uh, that's a pretty name. Uh, I'm Craig. A major, assistant professor, Yale, Northwestern, Greek and Roman military history. Very good. Beth Schoenman. Of course, associate professor, Dunhill Award winner in 2014. You enjoy visiting libraries and- It's and okay, I already know about me. Sorry. I prepare for everything. I enjoyed your work on Moorish dinnerware. Uh, oh, uh, and I read your thesis on ethics and church in the Middle Ages. And? And I read it. And here we have Michelle Taft, an undergrad helping with the interview process. Ah, uh, Glee Club and co-ed water polo. So tell us why you want to teach at Georgia. Ah, uh, you're the only ones who wrote me back. <laughs> I'm kidding. Kidding. <laughs> uh, the department's reputation is stellar. Athens seems like a gorgeous place to live. And frankly, as someone currently without health insurance, the benefits package looks pretty good. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, a buddy of mine, he went into the emergency room for like a, a, a little thing and came away with a $6,000 bill. Isabel, given your background of achievement, I think you can consider yourself under very serious consideration for this position. <laughs> Unless, of course, you have some kind of deviant character flaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha. What was that? A uh, tick. One of the few unperks of teaching in the South, but they're only a problem a few weeks of the year. Trudy Schweitzer was supposed to be meeting us here. Uh, the chair of the department. Oh, expert on the Visigoths. Enjoys long walks. What kind of ticks should, say, a newcomer to the area be concerned about? Just the kind that will cause Lyme disease. If you're lucky. What does she mean? Uh, they also spread Rocky Mountain spotted fever, but it's very rare. I enjoy the way this grass feels. Uh, sure. Hey, nothing like Georgia grass. <laughs> but the important thing is, if you do get bitten, get the tick off as soon as possible. Or? A rash. A fever. Slurring of words. And sometimes death. A slow, agonizing death. Oh, what do you say? We take a short, short break? Well, given the chair's not here, that's not a bad idea. Let's meet back here after lunch. Must get it off me now. Can't do it alone. Can't afford doctors. Soon fever and agonizing death. Must ask someone to look up my skirt. But who? Excuse me. 
I know we've only known each other for 11 minutes, but would you mind me pulling down my underpants in front of you so you can take a close look at my rear end? Ooh, I like aggressive women. I tell you what, would you like to go to the faculty lounge? I'm going to tweet every history department in the world what you just said. Well, I think we just found that deviant character flaw. Are you all right? having a bad day. Oh, here's Trudy, our department chair. Trudy, this is Isabel Drake. This is her. The one I was telling you about in the bathroom, the one doing... Uh, that wasn't me! That wasn't me! I have a twin, Kathy, with twitches and fixations on her rear end. That wasn't me, I swear! It was Kathy! This was her. It was a tick! I said it. A tick? Yeah. It's probably bored its way into my lungs by now. I'm so sad. Tell my folks that I loved them, and I think I finally figured out what that smell in the fridge was. Yeah. Got it. You got it! You got it! Okay. I'm gonna live! Hey, Isabel! Isabel! Uh. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm... Can we please start this day all over again? I really do want to work here. This is not a tick. <laughs> 